Okay. This is 70 millimeter socket, and this fits a uh, top uh, here. I already undid it, so it's gonna be easy to remove it. Hold the uh, the fork. Make sure spring doesn't pop out. Let it go. Take the spring out. Set it. Now let it go slowly. Put it upside down. Make sure you put the towel underneath. So the let the uh, dirty oil drain it little by little. Okay. Now you're gonna have to undo this. All right. There comes six millimeter hex. Undo it. It's gonna be easily. You're gonna be able to do this uh, pretty easily. If it's too tight, uh, then you're gonna need uh, something else to tighten it from the bottom, inside, which I'm gonna show you. Okay, now I heard the, the inner part just dropped, so this is gonna come in, uh, pretty easy. All right, here's the bolt. Oh. In a piece, the spring here. You set it aside, okay? Now, put it straight up. This is the, the dust cap rubber. To remove it, you're gonna need a small uh, flat screwdriver. Just put it between. Pop it out, eat carefully. Don't damage the dust cap. Okay, slide it. Go easy. You should be able to just pop it out. All right, here you go. Take it out. Now, you will see the, uh, the oil seal retainer uh, clip there. If you take a look inside, there's a open area right there. And all you gotta do is just uh, make sure you don't damage the cylinder, fork cylinder. Just slide it around. Okay, here we go. Make sure you don't damage the cylinder, the fork, and the seal. It's gonna pop out, so be careful. Don't let it uh, jump all over. What I'm trying to show is that you can do this at home with your basic tools. Uh, only tool that I had to buy was uh, the big uh, star shape uh, uh, T70 because I didn't have that. The rest was all basic tools. Okay, here's the retaining clip. You can see it. Okay, let's put that aside. Now you have a freely moving fork cylinder. Now to pop this out, make sure it's clean. Okay, all you gotta do is, uh, nothing is holding, so. Okay, we took it out. Clean. Now the mine the oil seal got stuck there, so we're gonna slide this out.
Don't damage it, just uh, little by little, go around it. Turn around, turn it. Okay, here it comes. All right, I got it out. No damages, very clean. Then here comes a shape the 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 metal ring and uh, the what is it called the metal. Uh, it's a uh, uh, protective uh, ring, whatever you call it. That's about it. And the this is what goes with this piece inside. Make sure you see this side is a uh, sl uh, slender, and this is where the uh, bolt goes. Okay. So remember that, okay? Now you clean, when you take all these pieces out, make sure you clean them, clean them good, okay? You're gonna see all dirty stuff inside. That's what I found when I took them out, all right? You clean all the cylinders inside, everything. Make sure you clean them good. You know, you can make sure uh, you inspect them. What I found on mine, I found some wares here. You see this wares? So I found some wares here. Uh, uh, overall, the fork cylinder was pretty good. Some scratches here. I don't know where they came from. Probably from factory. And I found uh, some wares on the spring. But yeah, that's expected. Uh, that's about it. And uh, when you take them out, clean them good. You don't have to use heavy chemicals or anything. Just wipe them out, clean them. If you want to clean with the, uh, like a degreaser or whatever, that's okay. Just make sure you rinse them, wash them, let them dry. Uh, yeah. And, and next clip, let's put them back. Okay. Uh, on the other uh, side of the fork, this uh, uh, metal o-ring, this side was uh, rough, and this one, inner side is very rough. So what we're gonna do is, uh, to, what happens is the inner side touches with this. So it's not gonna do a lot of damage, but anyway, I'm gonna make sure it's uh, not gonna, you know, no uh, shave any uh, metal inside. So we're gonna just make it smoother. I think uh, the fact manufacturers they just uh, whoever made this they just stamped it out of a sheet metal. So they didn't even smooth it out. So. Yeah. It's pretty rough. You can I can even cut myself with this. Very rough. Yeah, much better. It's pretty soft metal, but uh, anyhow. It's not even the uh, same angle as the other one, but that's okay. Well, we got most of them cleaned. Everything cleaned, I guess. Yeah, so we're going to assemble this. First thing, we're going to put the spring back. All cleaned. Okay. We're going to put this uh, star shape T70 into this. So it can slide in and out easily. All right. We're going to put this through the main shaft here. 
make sure so we're gonna align it show here you're gonna align it so this can come through okay we got it okay now we're gonna put this slug piece here and put the make sure it's aligned it and put the X bolt and tight it. Make sure you tight it. Okay. Now you can take this tool out easily. And this thing gonna stay there. Okay. Now we got them all. Now we're gonna put this uh, oil seal, you see, with the one with the group goes inside. One with the leather, leathers here and the spring goes outside, upper way, okay? So, now uh, put some regular grease to make it a little safe inside of the seal light grease you don't need a lot and put through here so slowly make sure you don't damage the seal yep oh I didn't put the oh boy I didn't put the metal ring okay the metal ring goes first it's a uh, clean no damages here and this one goes like this and the oil seal good slice the right in just push all the way in now Let's put this against the floor. Now, with this tool, we're gonna do beautiful job. One inch plastic connector, two connector. Okay, so we can save the seal and this piece of paper from flyer just put around it so we don't scratch the the fork and we just hammer it around lightly and you're gonna feel it the seal is sitting inside going inside slowly hammer around it Go easy. Let's see how far we in. Just a little more. I need to see where the retainer ring gonna go. Okay.
Yeah, we're, I think we're about there. Okay. All right, let's see. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, this thing, I checked it. This one, I grinded already. So it's no more sharp edges there. Just put it there. Make sure this part sits against the, the groove where it's supposed to go. And I use my little flathead screwdriver just to cramp them together. Press down. Press down. Yep, they're sitting inside. Okay. Can you take a picture? Uh, show close how the metal retainer ring is sitting inside good okay now all it needs is put the dust cap make sure uh, you can put a little bit of grease as well Just make sure dust cap is not gonna damage either okay goes easily and you can press down with your hand if it doesn't go in all the way same thing use the plastic that I used and with the paper inside here Make sure dust cap is sitting completely already. Yep. No gap left. Perfect. All done. That's it. Now all you gotta do is uh, fill the oil. Uh, I think from the manufacturer, I think they put uh, what uh, five weight oil, uh, but in our case, uh, I mean in states we're heavier than uh, Asian guys. I uh, we're the Asian too, but uh, we're heavier. Uh, what we're putting is a fifteen weight uh, fork oil, and we. We add this, uh, what is a 5.8 uh, uh, deep socket, so it makes it a little stiffer. And the weight we carry usually is a, a lot of weight, like a 300 pounds total with the rider and the luggage we carry for long distances. So it's gonna, it helps a lot, you know. And probably we're gonna put about, uh, uh, about 200 uh, millis, milligrams, 200 milligrams of oil uh, each fork. I think that's gonna help stiffen the fork a lot more than uh, what it came. So yeah, make sure you pump when you put the oil. You have uh, the fork, uh, the shaft lifted up, fill the oil and slowly pump it down uh, make sure you take the, all the air out, okay? Uh, you have to do this. Uh, what we did on the motorcycle was uh, about 10, 15 times. Make sure you take the, all the air out. So, yeah, that's what you gotta do. And put the spring back in, put the cap, install it. That's it.